Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be comparing two numbers. We have 2 to the power 70 and 3 to the power 41. And we're going to find out which number is greater. I'll be presenting two methods and let's start with the first one. For my first method, I'm going to consider two of these powers first. So I have 2 to the 10th power, which is 1024 and 10 to the power 3, which is 1,000. Now, obviously, those numbers are pretty close, right? Now, why do I use a 10? I'll tell you in a little bit. So, in this case, we know that 2 to the 10th power is greater than... Uh-oh, what kind of inequality symbol is that? 2 to the 10th power is greater than 10 to the power 3, right? So, here's what we're going to do. Multiply exponents by 7. And the motivation behind that is if I do that, I'm going to be getting 2 to the power 70 on the left hand side and something else on the right hand side. And then we'll figure out how to, you know, transition into our uh, own power. So let's go ahead and do that. Multiply exponents by. So in other words, we're raising both sides to the seventh power. We can write it that way too. And this gives us 2 to the power 70 is greater than 10 to the power 21. And notice that I'm going to, I'm supposed to compare the number, uh, the number on the left hand side to do to 3 to the power 41. So I need to be able to uh, get to 3 to the power 41 uh, from here. Okay, that's going to be my next step. So how do we get to a power of 3 from 10 to the power 21? So here's the next part. We know that 10 is greater than 9, hopefully, right? That means 10 to the power 21 is greater than 9 to the power 21. And 9 uh, is a power of 3, therefore, you can write it as 3 squared. So 9 to the power 21 can also be written as 3 to the power 42. Great. And obviously, 3 to the power 42 is greater than 3 to the power 41. So let's go ahead and put it all together and see how that works. We're going to start with 2 to the power 70. We know that it's, it's greater than 10 to the power 21, which is greater than 9 to the power 21, which can be written as 3 to the power 42, which is greater than 3 to the power 41. As a conclusion, we can safely say that 2 to the power 70 is greater than 3 to the power 41. Case closed. Awesome. Let's go ahead and take a look at the second method. My second method involves using powers of 2 and 3 instead of using a 10. So we have, let me start with the 2. We have 2 to the power 8 equals 256 and 3 to the power 5 equals 243. Again, those numbers are pretty close. So from here we can safely say that 2 to the 8th power is greater than, I don't know why it's kind of weird writing, 2 to the 8th power is greater than 3 to the 5th power. Now let's go ahead and raise both sides to the 8th power. And when we do, we're going to get the following. And this gives us 2 to the power 64 is greater than 3 to the power 40. Now you might be asking, I didn't get to 2 to the power 70, nor did I get 3 to the power 41. But don't worry, this is as close as we can get, and then I'm going to adjust it. Now, here's the, another thing that I would like to consider. And uh, notice that uh, we have 2 to the power of 64 is greater than 341. 3 to the power of 40, right? But I want to get 3 to the power of 41. So it would make sense if I multiply both sides by 3, right? Let's go ahead and multiply both sides by 3. And that obviously does not change the inequality. But this gives us something interesting. 2 to the power of 64 times 3 becomes greater than 3 to the power 41. Okay, now let's go ahead and see if we can improve this. Well, at least I was able to get 3 to the power 41, but I do not have 3 to the power 70 on the left-hand side. But guess what? We're going to take care of that now. So here's my next step. We know that, hopefully again, 2 to the power 64 is equal to 64. To, oh, what did I say? 2 to the power 6 equals 64, and that is greater than 3, right? So this gives us 2 to the power 6 is greater than 3. We also know that 2 to the power 64, right? So we do know that 
2 to the power, uh, let's see how we can improve this. Okay, here we go. So I'm going to go ahead and multiply both sides of this by 2 to the power 64. So here's how it goes. 2 to the power 6 times 2 to the power 64 is greater than 3 times 2 to the power 64. But guess what? On the left hand side, I'm getting something like this. 2 to the power 70. Yeah, that's what I was looking for. And on the right hand side, we get 3 to the power, 3 times 2 to the power 64, not 3 to the power 41. But guess what? We already know that 2 to the power 64 times 3 is greater than 3 to the power 41. Therefore, we can write that as another inequality here. And bingo, that gives us what we're looking for. Happy ending. Yay. Awesome. So the conclusion is 2 to the power 70 is greater than 3 to the power 41. And the larger number in this case, obviously, is going to be 2 to the power 70. And this should normally bring us to the end of this video, but it doesn't bring us to the end of this video because I'm going to show you the numerical values. And so we're going to look at a comparison that way too. All right, great. Let's go ahead and take a look at the numerical values. Here we go. We found out that 2 to the power 70 is greater than 3 to the power 41. And that's true, numerically verified. You can see this. And I also looked at their ratio because that kind of gives us a better idea how many times bigger is the bigger number. And in this case, it's about 32 times. Well, pretty close, right? Awesome. And this brings us to the end of this video. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe. Take care and bye-bye.